Elon Musk was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, South Africa. He attended Pretoria Boys High School and later moved to Canada age 17 to attend Queen's University. He transferred to the University of Pennsylvania two years later, where he received dual bachelor's degrees in economics and physics. He moved to California in 1995 to attend Stanford University but decided instead to pursue a business career, co-founding web software company Zip2 with his brother. In 1999, a division of Compaq Computer Corporation bought Zip2 for nearly $300 million, providing Musk with his first significant financial success. He then founded X.com, an online payment company, which later became PayPal and was sold to eBay for $1.5 billion in 2002. Musk co-founded Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, in March 2002, of which he is CEO, lead designer and lead engineer. The company develops and manufactures space launch vehicles with a focus on advancing the state of rocket technology. In 2004, he joined the board of directors of Tesla Incorporated, an electric vehicle and clean energy company, becoming its largest shareholder, CEO and product architect. He helped create the first electric car of the modern era, the Tesla Roadster in 2008 and leads the company to become one of the most valuable car company in the world. Musk has also proposed the Hyperloop, a high-speed backtrain transportation system and he founded the Boring Company in 2016. It is an infrastructure and tunnel construction company. In addition to his work with SpaceX and Tesla, Musk has also been involved with several other ventures, including SolarCity, a company that provides solar power systems for homes and businesses, and Neuralink, a neurotechnology company that aims to develop brain-computer interfaces. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I would like to die on Mars. Just not on impact. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. The only thing that makes sense to do is strive for greater collective enlightenment. It's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to that basket. I don't believe in the so-called work-life balance. There's no such thing. There's work, and there's life, and there's no balance. It's not about money. It's about making a difference. I don't create companies for the sake of creating companies, but to get things done. I would like to allocate more time to dating, though. I need to find a girlfriend. That's why I need to carve out just a little more time. I think maybe even another 5 to 10, how much time does a woman want a week? Maybe 10 hours? That's kind of the minimum? I don't know. My biggest mistake is probably weighing too much on someone's talent and not someone's personality. I think it matters whether someone has a good heart. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. I'm an engineer. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a finance person. I'm not a marketing person. I'm not a salesman. I'm really excited about the potential for a new form of transportation that is both fast and cheap. It's very important to like the people you work with, otherwise life, and, your job is gonna be quite miserable. The path to the CEO's office should not be through the CFO's office, and it should not be through the marketing department. It needs to be through engineering and design. I don't spend my time pontificating about high-concept things, 
I spend my time solving engineering and manufacturing problems. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. I don't believe in process. In fact, when I interview a potential employee and he or she says that, it's all about the process, I see that as a bad sign. I think it's very important to have a good work ethic.